Good evening. When you see a pothole in Fort Wayne, the city usually fixes it. But at one of the busiest shopping centers in the city, officials can't do that because it's private property. News Channel 15's Megan Royce went out looking for answers tonight. Megan? Mark and Heather, there's a cluster of about five potholes scattered right in front of one of the entrances at Apple Glen Crossing. Customers I talked with tonight believe they're dangerous and are frustrated, fed up, and want something done about it. Some have driven right into them. Others have heard just how bad they are. And many tried to avoid them at all costs. Potholes make the entrance here at Apple Glen Crossing look like a war zone. Some range from two to five inches deep. And these are some pretty big potholes. I had to pull into a different lane to get a, to try to not drive through the ditch or the, the pothole. So I'd appreciate it if they fixed it. Several neighboring businesses all use this same entrance and exit for customers to come to and from their stores. So who is really responsible for filling these potholes? The Allen County Assessor's Office couldn't find who owns the plaza. However, a company called Centro Bradley SPE1 LLC owns many of the spots where big box stores are located. My call was never returned. I talked with the manager at Panda Express. She said her store isn't responsible for fixing the potholes. Kohl's is. I called Kohl's, but so far, officials there haven't been able to tell me if the potholes are on their property or not. But as potholes grow deeper, so do frustration and concerns customers of these businesses have about them. Some say the potholes are dangerous and may cause an accident. I had to really slow down, almost do a stop. And just looking at them, they're bad. And there's a lot just right in this area trying to come through there. You do have to kind of dodge them. One woman says she paid hundreds of dollars to get her tire and rim repaired after she hit a pothole like one of the ones here at Apple Glen. If I popped a tire once and between the tire and the rim, it was $500 to replace. Again, the city says when potholes like these are on private property, which is the case here at Apple Glen, it's the property owner's responsibility to fix them. But that's the problem here. We haven't been able to pin down for sure exactly who owns the property. Mark? Megan, thank you.